Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. How are you doing? Everything alright? Right, you face, you face the prison. Okay, I'm not going to go. Okay, I'm Zambia and indeed uh, the people of Lago Mezi. So, Honorable Mamba, you, you, you interacted with uh, Honorable Zulu? Um, the interaction went on very well. Honorable Zulu is in very, very high spirits. He says it's an experience that is worth it as a politician to come to um, a correctional service. He stands strong, he stands firm, and um, we look forward to his release. Thank you. Um, equally, um, I was very concerned um, but now that we came here. It's just to see the strength that, um, that our colleague has. Um, he's been through a lot uh, recently. Has become the lifestyle in, in and out of places like this. Um, it's very, very unfortunate. Um, but Honorable Munir is a little strong and he's actually strengthened all of us. I thought that I was going to be the one to strengthen him, but um, <laughs> I'm even more strengthened. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like uh, all the members of the Parliament have said, we came to pay visit to one of our colleagues, Honorable Nia who has been kept in prison. 
season from Friday after today and uh, we found him well like Honorable Lungu has said he was busy encouraging us so <laughs> which is uh, uh, good and, and I think now we can go and, and rest easy we hope that tomorrow we can be together with him in parliament so that he can represent the people of the mess Thank you. We, we are from uh, visiting uh, Honorable Monia Zulu in prison. Uh, it's good that uh, he's in high spirits and that is very encouraging. We are looking forward to seeing him being released and uh, seeing him in Parliament. I understand. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> like uh, most members have said, I've uh, mentioned, we came here to see him, to offer him solidarity. And uh, you know, I was at the dock with him on Friday. And then since then, I've not been, I didn't have time to see him. So we basically walked here to give him uh, solidarity. And he's obviously in high spirits. And we're encouraged by the state of affairs so far. We're only looking forward that uh, we expected that he could be out today. But unfortunately, we had uh, uh, power failures and there's little we could do at this juncture. So we're waiting for the outcome probably tomorrow and we're hoping we could work with him to freedom so that he can continue discharging the functions that uh, the people of Lomez gave him. Yeah, just to sum it up, I think it's all about uh, this afternoon. Uh, we want to uh, commend our colleague, Honorable Munia Zulu, uh, for his courage. I think Honorable Munia Zulu um, stands out uh, as a politician. He has shown a lot of courage in the way that um, he voices out on certain uh, you know, violations of uh, rights and uh, certain things that affect the Zambian people. Our encouragement uh, to all other opposition political parties that uh, this is not the time for praise singing. Uh, if you are in opposition and you are, you are, you are praising, uh, you, you, the government may be on the wrong side of the political divide. Uh, our job is to ensure that government is put to work by providing checks and balances. In doing that, we are fighting for some limited space. The government will try to frustrate the efforts uh, because they would like to create an impression that they're delivering to the aspirations of the Zambian people. Our job is not necessarily to make their job difficult, but to point out, uh, bring out the omissions. And if the UPND government uh, would effectively engage and work on the issues that the opposition raised, they would end up as a political party that you know try to deliver. Uh, opposition political parties are not supposed to be looked at as enemies. We occupy a special place in a democratic dispensation. So like right now, there are a number of uh, things that we've noticed that need to work on. Uh, for instance, we will continuously talk about abductions or the manner of arrests, the rights of suspects. Uh, in many cases, uh, of course, not in the case of one of Munia Zulu, we, we can't comment, he's, ha, he's very safe and he's very comfortable. But we will not stop talking about human rights violations. There's a report by the U.S. Department that talked about human rights violations. Uh, right now, as we speak, Comrade Zumani Zimba is still incarcerated. We are demanding that, uh, you know, Zimani Zimba be given bail. As far as we are concerned, at the time the alleged offence was committed, that particular offence was bailable. And therefore, Comrade Zumani uh, deserves bail. We want to call upon the police command. There was an acting Minister of Home Affairs yesterday who was commanding, commanding police officers at the pass out parade that they were doing a good job i want to say that's a lost opportunity the minister should have taken time uh, to to instruct and direct police officers that they must act within the confines of the law the dc uh, officer agreed with the acting minister again that is a lost opportunity people are losing property every day 
without the due process. So the DC officer cannot say their officers are discharging functions with diligence. So for us as the opposition and the political party, we want to stand with the Zambian people to ensure that there is fair treatment of suspects, a fair treatment of every citizen. That in as much as the UPND, yes, have embarked on a, 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 a fight against corruption, they must do this within the confines of the law. And most importantly, corruption must be fought, whether it's past, present or future. We haven't seen uh, enough effort being made on the current corruption. We are still calling upon the law enforcement agencies to travel to Chingola, to KCM, to look at that Sensele mining operation. There is a syndicated mechanized mining operation within KCM, uh, promoted by top leaders in government today. An illegal activity. Nobody knows who owns this company. Nobody knows where they pay tax. Nobody knows where they deliver the proceeds from that operation. We call upon these agencies. If indeed there's a fight against uh, corruption, we challenge this government to send people into KCM to go and to look, uh, look into into that particular activity. We once again want to call upon the executive to look at what is happening at Ministry of Agriculture. Up to now, the permanent secretary at Ministry of Agriculture is still in employment. He went against the law by refusing to submit documents to the Alter General as required by law. He's still in office. So we are not convinced that this fight against corruption is a genuine fight against corruption. So that and many other cases that have been brought to the fore must be fought before the UPND can raise their flag and say we are fighting corruption. So ladies and gentlemen, countrymen and women, uh, once again I want to join uh, other members of parliament uh, you know, in uh, 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 commending Honorable Munia Zulu for his resilience, for his courage that um, he has even as he continues to discharge his functions on behalf of uh, the people of Zambia in general and people of Lumezi in particular. Thank you very much. Honorable, um, for this last week or this week, uh, one of your one of the members of parliament uh, for Maloli constituency was involved in an uh, accident. What's your current status as of now? Well, comrade um, Robert Kaila Kalimi is uh, recuperating. He's recovering um, very well. He's currently at the Investi Teaching Hospital and the intensive care unit. Uh, we, ha we had communication with the doctors this morning. We informed us that uh, he's making very steady progress. So we have him in our prayers and we continue to pray for him that uh, the Almighty God you know, can grant him healing messages so that he can recover quickly and get back to Parliament and indeed continue representing the people of Malole. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.